بفوز محمد شراب وذيو Let's talk today about uh, steam uh, mechanical compressor. Uh, steam mechanical compressor. First of all, you have to uh, specify your folder from here. Go to your. Don't open your model from uh, your desktop. Uh, uh, okay, and go to your drive. Copy your model uh, folder uh, in it, and go to your destination folder. This is my working folder, so I put my folders here. And click here and sort. Uh, you have to sort by name and group by type. So you will find your model, uh, similar model, uh, uh, contained here. Okay, double click on your model and you will find your model should be appear like this. Uh, this is our mechanical um, centrifugal steam compressor. Uh, it's for uh, mechanical vapor compression. Uh, uh, such type uh, um, always been uh, used for many years in uh, uh, vapor compression cycles such such as uh, uh, steam compression uh, for desalination purposes uh, and other uh, types of uh, steam uh, auxiliaries um, this is our main model so you have to check all of this go to your model browser and uh, be sure that all of these uh, arrows are checked and set your simulation time into infinity and go here in uh, inside okay uh, our model uh, should calculate uh, the following uh, working what is your working because it, this is a design model what is your working um, uh, power what is your outlet uh, temperature what is your what is your output pressure, um, uh, volume, uh, RBM, and specific bulk consumption? Sure, you can uh, go inside, double clicking on your model, and you will find your code here. So you can uh, deal with your code and uh, and use it if you would like. Um, first of all, this is these are your inputs. You you have to. About you, what is your mass flow rate? Okay, steam mass flow rate, inlet temperature and pressure, and compression ratio because it's a design model. Uh, adiabatic compr uh, compressor, uh, adiabatic index for compression, and mechanical uh, or volumetric or compressor efficiency uh, as overall. You had you have to hit run and you can uh, control these inputs by this uh, dash. Uh, controllers in order to uh, examine your output don't forget to check your output stream uh, uh, in order to send your output data to a data inspector because uh, you are going to make uh, we have to make uh, at least two runs in order to compare our runs um, that's it run and see if we change our steam flow rate or inlet temperature or, okay Let's click here and uh, let's try to uh, make our changes. I am increasing uh, steam mass flow rate as you can see here. The compressor power is increasing. Let's uh, increase uh, LED temperature. I am increasing LED temperature as you can see. Realize effect. Realize effect here. And compression ratio value. Let's decrease the compression ratio value as you can see here. Um, adiabatic index 1.4 normally be, being used let's go for 1.3 uh, efficiency I, I will drop it down to uh, 0.6 for example and uh, I will stop my uh, simulation time okay let's go here for that inspector in order to discover uh, our results okay these are our results you can uh, add more results okay let's go for uh, for example um, uh, what is your uh, this is your input temperature and okay we need output temperature okay variation output temperature variation uh, in pressure output pressure variation in uh, specific volume uh, and we have variation in rbm um, rbm okay i'm sorry uh, uh, specific bulk consumption okay and uh, this is your, your mass fluid but, but this is this is your input mass fluid 
because we change it mass flow rate okay okay let's uh, close this one and we uh, i'm going to make another run in order to and uh, make some changes let's let's decrease okay this is your simulation time i i will decrease my mass flow rate okay decreasing mass flow rate and uh, decreasing uh, temperature down to 50 degrees Celsius for example and let's increase the pressure ratio um, suppose I'm going for high pressure ratio ranges and the thematic index I will return it to 1.4 and efficiency I will return it to uh, uh, nearly 90 percent okay and we can stop our simulation time and this is our results let's go here and trying to compare our runs uh, as you can see here okay this is run number one so we check this before let's go for run number two this is outlet temperature let's go for outlet temperature and compare the variation as you can see realize the variation with time and out output pressure uh, there is a huge difference increasing and decreasing with uh, compression a vapor um, uh, I'm sorry uh, a volume there is um, a, a massive increase in volume and RPM I think RPM is nearly constant specific bulk consumption there is a, a change in specific bulk consumption because you increased the power uh, this is my story because this is input okay uh, so we have a, a simple model a direct model so you can uh, attach this model to your uh, uh, system or your desalination plant or your uh, power plant or steam power plant whatever you would like um, uh, finally I would like to uh, thank you very much for your uh, interest in our model don't forget to uh, like uh, share and uh, subscribe thank you very much